Hey guys, welcome back to Cloudfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And San Diego Comic-Con is this week. Yeah, we're going to have lots of stories, I'm sure. Which means we're going to have a lot of stories and we're going to talk about all the exciting goings on in nerddom, including uh, Game of Thrones, which went out with a bang. <laughs> um, Game of Thrones went out with a bang. Uh, but you know what? Uh, no, actually Game of Thrones ended uh, on a very disappointing note for most people. Uh, very disappointing. I mean, you've got Vogue. Game of Thrones finale was a big womp womp, according to the internet. Yeah. Game of Thrones backlash. And so people probably had questions for the guys. I'm sure they had questions. The showrunners of Game of Thrones, and they were probably you know, going to San Diego Comic-Con just to ask questions about what the hell happened. Mm -hmm. They just changed their mind. They're not going to San yeah. Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> They're not going to show their oh, faces. because of a scheduling conflict scheduling conflict scheduling conflict uh probably like hey let's just go grab lunch or something and yeah the internet hates them right now the internet hates them and i'm sure uh given the backlash to the last season of game of thrones these guys don't want to be anywhere near well now they're too busy working on fans. star wars ruining star wars I mean, yeah so go ahead yeah so uh dave and db aren't going to be there. Uh, the men primarily responsible for Game of Thrones won't be attending San Diego Comic-Con. They pulled out just two days before they were scheduled to appear in front of a crowd of thousands. They pulled out. Yep. After after effing the fans over. They actually over. disappointed everyone. They pulled uh, out and decided to go home. They, they, <laughs> they pulled out because the climax was unsatisfying. Apparently. Uh, that's why. So when the Comic-Con schedule came out earlier this month, fans were excited they were sharpening the pitchforks. Firing Some up people the might have been excited, to be fair. They were excited and surprised to see executive producers, uh, Dave and DB names on the list of attendees for the show's Hall That's H panel. DB, okay. DB. Since the controversial end of the series, the showrunners have been very much off the grid, probably working on their upcoming Star Wars movies. No! Well, They're hiding out. I know they could be doing both. Did you ever see Gung Ho? Have you seen Gung Ho? I love Ho? Gung Ho. Okay, remember when when Michael Keaton's character gave the speech mm -hmm. and he made all kinds of promises and they booed him. Well, and then he runs home and he's like packing his bags real quick. Yeah. He's gonna leave like a thief in the night. That's these guys. They're like, oh yeah, we're going to be there. We're going to be at Hall H. We're going to talk about the wonderful finale to Game of Thrones. And they're like packing their bags to go to Tahiti or something. <laughs> they're like, hell no, no, we're not going anywhere near these people. Um, so they haven't answered the many, many burning questions fans have about how it all ended. So their appearance at Comic-Con was a huge point I'm of interest. sure it was. As a chance for fans to finally get some of those answers for better or for worse. Uh, I'm sure mostly towards the worst. Yeah, so is Ryan Johnson going to be there too? Oh, well, I'm sure. Like, ask Ryan Johnson your questions. Then on Twitter, Wednesday, HBO revealed there had been a few changes. Uh, the panel is is canceled. Uh, well, no, canceled, they're no. Doing, they took they took them off and their other panelists. No, so. uh, Benioff. No, no, David and DB, as previously planned. Um, io9 contacted HBO about the change, and representatives said production and scheduling conflicts. <laughs> they have a cold. Uh, <laughs> Force the pair to remove themselves from the panel. That could very well be the case. But many fans are sure to see this as the pair dodging possible criticism or venom that their choices in the final season may have created. The truth is, though, even if fans don't like what happened at the end of Game of Thrones, odds are everyone at the panel is just sure to get a rousing ovation when they take the stage. <laughs> Sorry. They're sure to get aroused. When they take Who the stage, uh, a few questionable decisions won't deter fans for thanking the team. No, it will. You don't understand how the internet works, io9. All it takes is one questionable decision. They love you one day and they hate you the next. Yeah, that's how it is. That I mean, is it doesn't it. matter whether you're on YouTube or you're a director or whatever. You know, you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing and right. everybody hates you. It's it. If you had seven great seasons and one mulligan you're done yeah. like you're only as good as your last episode right mm -hmm. and and yeah uh yeah so what's gonna happen they're gonna report on it on friday i don't know on. we'll find out tomorrow won't we are there comments i am jack's complete lack of surprise why would they come to our concert just to boo us <laughs> <laughs> odds are everyone on the panel is sure to get a rousing ovation i'd really love to believe that but the current state of fandom doesn't give me a lot of hope 
Uh, uh, no, they're saying Boo Earns. Boo Earns. <laughs> Lucasfilm PR rep. Um, what are you hearing about those Rise of Skywalker reshoots? What's that have to do with anything? Yeah, I think they're hiding out. I mean, I'm sorry. This is Comic-Con. Like, people freaking schedule their year around Comic-Con. Right. And I'm sure people were going to come to ask some questions. And, yeah, and I'm sure they knew they were going to get some questions they didn't want to answer. So, we'll just not go. I mean, we're not saying that's why. Of course, they're going to say their official reason is because of that. But, look, come on. I mean. They had a cold... We had a scheduling conflict. Scheduling they conflict. scheduled a dinner that day between the two of them and decided not to go. Yeah, they scheduled a dinner in Tahiti <laughs> uh, together, uh, hiding out, out of the names. country, <laughs> out of the country, out of the country for the week of Comic-Con. Many people in Tahiti are mad too, though. They are. I don't know. So <laughs> this is crazy. I, you know, I, I don't even know if Ryan, I have to look and see if Ryan Johnson is going to, because that's another one that'd be like, you know, stay away from, Yeah. you know, stay away. I don't, Are they going to start doing the thing now when you want to go to Comic-Con or panels where you have to tell them whether you're Republican or Democrat? Because apparently, oh my God, um, doesn't, yeah. you're not allowed, if you, if you hate anything, you automatically are a Republican. So according to these people, so, um. Are they going to start making you take a, a political quiz before you're allowed to enter the convention or the panel rooms to make sure that you're the appropriate audience for the uh, the panelists? <laughs> because, Red or blue? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, just based on that stupid you know thing that was yesterday about Ariel and that, oh my know, god, yeah, where they broke it down by they broke the, this. For those of you who didn't watch the video, we did another video on the Little Mermaid casting controversy, and I think it was Hollywood Reporter. Uh, did a poll on who was okay with the casting of a black girl for Little Mermaid and who wasn't. And they made sure to put political affiliation. Yes, because, you know, that makes sense. And none of it me meshed up. They had 75% Democrats and 44% oh, Republicans. I think it's out of all the Republicans. I guess I, I was reading it wrong. But here's the thing. What gets me is, it's like, we're not even, we, we're actually to the place now, I don't think we're either, but we're more moderate and in the middle and leaning more towards the leftist ideals we're than the right. Political fluid. And we're fluid. politically fluid. We're there politically you go. fluid. Any more, uh, politically fluid. Which side That's sucks a... the least right now. Yeah, right. We're politically fluid. So, um, we're going to probably get in trouble for saying that. Um, so we're going to, well, no, we're politically fluid right now. So, um, we actually. Don't assume my party. That's, well, they always assume we're Republican and it's funny because we always leave. They're like, you're less. just a bunch of Trump thumpers. They do. Go back to your go back to worshiping Trump. And I'm like, I don't I even have like never Trump. thumped Trump ever. I don't <laughs> swing that way. I have never thumped Trump. <laughs> Why don't swing assume. that way and I still don't thump Don't Trump, assume. So. There you go. So are we done. I think we're done. These guys are done too. They're like, oh fuck you guys. We're just <laughs> I'm like, not no, I'll be like that. Way. I think they're like, oh shit. Run yeah, and hide. Right. You know, I think that. I mean, I don't blame them. Actually, I really don't blame them. So I don't blame them either. But just wait until Star Wars comes out. Just wait until their Star Wars movie comes out. And if it's bad, if it's bad, you have no idea. Yeah. No idea, guys. So get used to it. If you can't handle this well game of thrones is really popular too well yeah yeah by the time they get to star wars it'll be like a used tissue nobody will yeah, nobody true. will care they will discard it and move on so are we done we're done uh, make sure you subscribe tell your friends to subscribe tell their friends to subscribe tell your mama to subscribe that's right tell your mama to join my mom roof. does so there you yeah, go yeah i know i can't swear as much as i used to so anyway i will let you go so you can do your own things just go do your own thing. That's right. Goodbye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.